Hi guys! So today I'm going to show you a tutorial on a colorful smoky eye. I'm going to be doing a really intense smoky eye with a pop of bright pink. So I'm going to get right into that and show you guys how to do that today. Of course, as always, I'm going to go ahead and start off by doing my foundation with my Luminesse system. Now, if you don't know how to do this already, you can go ahead and check out my video. I have a how-to video on exactly how to do the foundation and blush with this system. You can go ahead and check that out. But other than that, I'll be right back and we'll get started with those eyes. Hi guys, so I'm back now. My foundation's all done. And we're going to go ahead and get into the eyes now. So like I said, we're going to do a really cool, colorful, smoky eye today. It's going to be a deep, smoky eye with a pop of bright pink. So I'm going to zoom in a bit here so you guys can actually see what I am doing. Let's see. Camera wants to Okay, so now you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, I've got my foundation on. Like I said, it's the Luminized Air Foundation. It's an amazing product and I do have a video where I show you guys, um, actually there's a few videos about it. I have a video um, that shows you guys an entire look using the Luminous all in one video. I have a video with a review from when I opened the box, everything that came in it, etc. And then I will have another um, video up soon that has just the foundation and how to do that. So anyways, today we're going to be doing a bright, colorful, smoky eye, so I'm pretty excited. We're going to be using our Manly 120 palette for this. And I'm going to be using this side here, which is the side with all the pinks, the blacks, a few blues and teals, and some neutrals. So the first color that I'm going to be using is this really pretty light, shimmery, kind of like rosy tint. It's this one right here. I, think it'll, I don't think it's focusing. Yeah, I think it's focusing. Okay, but anyways, it's that color there. So it's just like a really pretty muted rosy pink color. And I'm going to be using wherever it is. This brush here, which is a QO brush. It is the Definer Shadow Brush. From QO. And these are from the most recent Christmas set this year. Well, last year now. Okay, so I'm going to start with that rosy pink, and I'm going to take this color and I'm going to start right on the inner corners, and poke color all the way, about three quarters of the way across your lid. and thick there. And when you're done with that color, it should look something like this. So that's what that's going to look like. Now the next color that we're going to use is on the same side of the palette and it's a really bright hot pink. And it's this color right here. Really pretty hot pink. So I'm gonna go in with the same brush, just get a bit on the brush, tap off any excess to prevent fallout. And you want to take this color and I'm just gonna pull on my eye a little bit so I can get that taunt skin. Start it right along your lash line, just like that. In a little angle, and then slowly kind of angle it. You guys can't see what I'm doing here. Slowly kind of angle it up and into your crease. Um, one way to do this is to, to figure out where exactly this line should be properly is to actually pull taunt on that skin like I just was, like this. And when you take your brush, you'll be able to feel that bone 
where the eye sockets are and just rub along that bone. And that's where you want your crease color to go. So it's going to look something like that. And you want it bright, nice and bright right now. It's going to be toned down a lot, so don't worry about how bright it is right now. Because you're going to blend in some much darker colors and it's really going to tone that down. Although realistically, if you just wanted a bright pink eye, you could put your highlighter in now and it would look really cute too. Um, which I have done before, just a really bright pink. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. Hopefully that's real to see a little bit better this time. So you're going to bring in the long and lash line first. And then just kind of pull taunt on that skin. And bring it across and into where your crease is. So once you finish with the pink, that is going to look something like this. Like I said, it's going to be really crazy right now because it's not blended out or anything, but that is what you want it to look like. So again, go ahead, clean off that brush. And actually, let me switch brushes here. I'm going to go in with a shadow smudger brush, and it's just like a small, really small bristled stiff bristled um, like smudging brush really. So I'm going to go into that same palette and there's this matte black, there's actually two matte blacks in this palette which I love because it's clay used the most so it makes the most sense. I'm just going to get some black in there, tap off any excess. Okay and then you're just going to really simply do the same thing, but in a much less drastic fat, like much smaller. So the same place you just went with the pink, but much more. See how this is right now? It's just gonna be like a line. So just a little bit more shadow. Okay, so you're just going to get that line. I want to go about three quarters of the way, as you can see, and then just kind of stop there. And then do the same on the other eye, just so you have your, your kind of guidelines there of what you're doing. Now, I heard somebody say the other day, I was uh, showing a uh, one of my models how to do this look. Well, not this exact look, but the the way you um, use the angles to do a cool smoky eye. And I was showing it to one of my models, and I had someone say that that's that I shouldn't have to do that. That's how beginners should do it. And actually, I just started doing my smoky eyes like this, and I find it works a lot better for like an angled smoky like when you see those eyes and they're like a nice almond shape for the smokiness instead of just being all smoked out on the outside that's when they're doing this or they're just really using a really small brush and, and smudging it out that way but anyways so you're just going to go in now and just kind of soften that black up just a little bit you don't want to fully blend it yet but just so it's not as harsh So then I'm going to get my big blending brush, and this is a cute little brush as well from the same set, and this just happens to be called the Crease Blender, of course. I'm not sure it's going to pick up that tiny writing on camera, but... So that's a Crease Blender. And I'm going to take this and just do little windshield wiper motions and circles. Back and forth, just kind of blend this out. Okay, 
his idea is you want like a a deep smokiness in that little almond shape and then the color to poke it around it, right? So you want to blend it, but don't blend it all the way up to where that pink is. You just want to see it poke out. Of course, blending is the most time consuming part, and you really have to have the patience for it to get the look. Um, you'll get better with time and with practice, but when you're first starting out, or when you're just practicing, or the first couple times you do a look or whatever, it's going to take some time. You're going to have to just, just play with it and get it how you want it. So, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go in with my island shimmer palette from Maybelline. It looks like this and I'm going to be using this top peach color here because it's really close to my skin tone but it's a shimmer. Every other color other than that little rose that we put in here um, has been a matte color so I just want to use a bit of a shimmer for your highlight. Now if I was doing a shimmer smoky eye which I have done on several occasions then I wouldn't, I would just use a matte highlight, so you just kind of want to mix match, right? So just using that to, that color to blend this pink out a little bit. And I find it way easier, personally, in the big tip, I find it way easier to blend if the skin is taunt. So something like that. You do still want to see the definition of the colors. I don't, I actually like that you see a little bit, see how you can see a little bit of a, not a harsh line, it's soft, but it's there. I like that. So, as well, so I'm putting a little bit more color in here too. So, go ahead and match the other eye so it's the same. Okay, so something like that. Okay. So that's what that's going to look like. So the next thing that we're going to do is just finish off that highlight. And I'm going to be using the last color out of um, this palette, this side of the palette. And that's, as you can tell, my favorite highlight color because it's gone, it's down in the pan. So that's the second white here. The top white is a matte white, and then the second white is like a shimmery kind of white. So just really gently. Starting at the very top um, of your arch, and then just kind of bring it out on both sides and blend it in. And it's just going to lighten that highlight just a little tiny bit and give it a really nice shimmer. So that's the eyeshadow. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do our liner now. So for the liner today, I'm going to be using a gel liner like usual. So you're going to go ahead and get yourself a... Um, eyeliner pencil, which you're going to use as a tool. This one happens to be a Revlon color stay, but it really doesn't matter what you're using because you're not using the product that's in here. You're just using it um, as a tool. I've seen this in uh, one of my favorite YouTube videos, and that was a Makeup Geek video. 
and um, I seen her start doing this because she used to use brushes too, just like everybody else, of course. And I was like, you know what? That's brilliant. First of all, a lot of clients I find their eyes get really irritated from using a brush near their eye, like in their to do the waterline here and stuff. So that's good. And second of all, why why would you want to put bristles near your face, right, or near your eye? That's not good. It's not going to make it easier to see or anything like that. So you want to use a pencil. It doesn't, like, the, you can obviously tell this is a turn-up pencil. You could just as easily use a pencil like this. That's just a, a sharpened pencil. But um, this just happens to be what I grabbed first today. Just go ahead and get both the top and bottom of the waterline with that. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a angled lining brush right here. Wherever it may be. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is the same Kilo set and angled liner brush, and it is actually called angled liner and brow brush. So again, just dip that into your product, get a little bit on there, you don't need a lot. Wipe off the excess on the side of the jar. And then you're just gonna go ahead and pull the eye taunt. And I'm just going to do around about three quarters of the way. A nice thick line like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go in here with a much thinner as close to the lash line as you can get it. So that's what that should look like. I'm going to go ahead and quickly do the other side here. So that's that. And that's pretty much it for mascara okay I've been forgetting that a lot lately so the one that I've been really drawn to for the past little while it's my favorite is the Lash Maybelline Lash Stiletto uh, mascara this one is the sequins so it has a little bit of a a little bit of a sparkle in it but just the regular one would work great too and this one is like gone This one is actually gone, so you know, I have to move on. Today we're going to use, sorry, this like really broke my heart right now. Where is my other mascara? There it is. Okay, we're good. So today we're going to use, um, instead then, the Maybelline Pulse Perfection Vibrating Mascara. So I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but if I stop it, it should focus. No? Stop it, but it's vibrating intensely. So just do one coat on your upper lashes. I do like this mascara. It, dif it separates and it defines your lashes really well. Um, it's kind of crazy for that stiletto mascara, so we'll see. Maybe before I replace it, I'll fall in love with this one. Okay, so then just one nice coat on the top lashes over here. Okay, just like that, and you're going to go ahead and let that dry for a second. Drying. 
And while that does that, I'm actually going to go ahead and fill in my brows because I forgot to do that. So just going to lightly, I'm using a brow pencil. This one is from Annabelle and it is in Auburn, which is number 030. See if I can get that for you guys. 030 Auburn. So I'm just going to go ahead and since I colored my hair red, I've been using this pencil and it really helps to kind of blend my brows with my hair color because otherwise I've got these nice and it doesn't look bad oh. it doesn't look bad but I have a feeling this will go a little bit darker because it makes my hair look a little bit more natural I mean it's obviously not natural but I can try can't I not to mention I'm going to show you actually quickly do you see the difference here oh. filled brow not filled brow, do you see the difference? It's just complete, like, okay, complete. Do you see, like, okay, anyways. I think it makes a drastic difference. So just quickly, it doesn't, it's really easy to, like, I used to be totally terrified of trying to fill in my brows. And then, actually, the reason that I started filling my brows was because I had this kind of, like, freak hair accident. <laughs> to say the least, and um, me and my friend decided we were going to do, uh, I want to be a blonde, let's put it that way, and me and my friend decided we were going to do that all on our own, and we didn't need the help of a salon or anything like that, so we just went for it, we bought some bleach, we bought some powder, we just kind of went crazy, and crazy we went, because my brows were bleached, I had no brows, uh, my hair was orange. So it was a good time. Um, never gonna do that again. I'm still going to be blonde, mind you. But um, kind of put a damper on things for a while. So I'm just now using a brown shadow to set the brows. This is like a really ready, really red brown. And it also happens to be out of the 120 palette. I love this palette because like I use it every day for like everything. So that's, I'm just going to show you guys instead of picking up the palette, that's the brown that I'm using on my brows here. It's just like a really neutral, um, a ready brown. That's the only way to say it. So that's that. Um, so of course you could go ahead and you could just put your lip gloss on, you could leave it like this. But if I have one, yes I do. I'm going to be using a pair of lashes today. These are QO false lashes in uh, number 808. Um, I have a couple of pairs in here, loose pairs, and they're all the 808s. I have like four pairs of these because they're just awesome. And I use them for my photo shoots a lot, but today I just felt like being crazy. So Hi guys, so I was just in the middle of filming the uh, end of the tutorial there with the lashes, and I lost you because my camera died. So I went and tried to shoot real quick, and we're going to finish it now you guys can see what's going on and like I said we're gonna use the QO lashes here I have my set here um, just gonna get them separated I stick my lashes back together like this when I reuse them which is I don't know that's what I do so separated grab my tweezers I don't think I've ever showed you guys how I actually apply lashes. So I grab them right in the middle. And when you do that, it kind of flattens it out just a little bit so it should be the perfect shape for your eye. I grab my QO Lash Glue in clear. I love this stuff. It's by far my favorite lash glue. I've worked with Duo, as I'm sure everybody's going to comment. And I like this stuff better. The only thing I find is that if you have really sensitive eyes, so like with my clients, I don't use this all the time. A lot of times I use Duo on my clients, only because if they have sensitive eyes, this will bother their eyes because it does have a bit of a fume to it. But it sticks amazing, it stays amazing, and it sticks fast. Like it doesn't even, I don't even need to be doing this. I could just be sticking it right on. It comes out really tacky. Okay, so I'm just going to lay the lash on top of my natural lashes and then just kind of wiggle it into the lash. I 
Let's see if the enemy comes in. Make sure it's stuck. Probably everywhere. And you have your lash. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly try and do the other one. I was not even checking. I hope that picked that up properly for you guys. I'm gonna quickly try and do the other one and um, make sure, try and make sure I get this one on camera anyways. So like I said, this stuff comes out really tacky so you can't really pull it off or you end up having to do this and clean the lid off. Or else it won't come out. Um, and I just like flew it in a line across the lash. Okay, so what I did was right back on and then that lash. So lay it on your natural lash and then just kind of wiggle it up into your lash line. a little bit of glue on the lash there and then we'll get okay so there you have your your lashes so that pretty much oh and we're gonna do a lip gloss aren't we okay so i'm just gonna go over my lip gloss drink piece and today i'm actually just gonna do something really neutral and clean so i'm gonna use a hip um, I hit Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss in Mystical number 528. So we're going to start by putting that all over the lip. Like that. And then just to kind of like soften it and um, blend it a bit. I'm going to be using just like this is a like no name clear gloss. It has nothing written on it. I don't know where it's from. I've had it for a really long time. It works well. It's shiny and it's not sticky at all. So I love it. It was a really fluid material or a formula though. Okay, so that's our look. I'm just going to get in here so you guys can kind of see everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below and I'll do everything I can to answer and resolve them for you. And I hope you're subscribing. And yeah, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Thank you for watching. Bye.